And today is a day that pretty much by law, all of business owners should have out all of your W-2s, 1099s, tax forms and everything uh, today. So a lot of you all will start filing uh, tomorrow and especially into next week. We already have close to 500 people who've signed up for neat taxes uh, to file. And there are a couple things I really want you to know uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to this. Right. And I really want to just give you all some education on why it's very important to really understand certain things. And this is why I actually jumped into the tax business. And we're going to talk a little bit about neat taxes here in a little bit and how you can get involved and how we can help you save some money. Then I'm going to bring up my friend, Justin, who I've partnered with him and his company uh, to provide neat taxes. Uh, because here's the very first thing I want to talk about. Very first thing that the IRS doesn't want you to know. OK, a lot of you um, when I hear people and I sit down with people, a lot of you all get excited about, you know, these these three months. You, you get really excited in February because you're about to get two thousand three thousand dollars back. And here's the truth. Uh, you're 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 not being a good steward of your money. Watch this. If you are getting a lot of money back. Let me just be honest with you. You're not being a good steward of your money if you're getting a lot of money back. And here's why. Because the IRS is not going to pay you interest or a penalty because they owe you money. So if they kept your money from January 1 all the way to December 31st, and actually kept your money from January 1 to the time you filed the next year, you're not getting any interest. You're not getting any kind of nothing. Nothing. The IRS is like, oh, man, you know, we, we took too much from you. We took $5,000 from you. We took $3,000 from you. Here's your money back. Thank you. We honestly use your money to, to, to spend in other places throughout the year. So here's your money back. Thank you so much. But did you know the moment you file your taxes and you don't owe, I mean, and you owe them some money, and if you don't start paying them instantly when you turn in your taxes, Interest penalties started accruing. So help me understand, how was that good stewardship for us to give them money? We don't get no interest or penalties in return to us. But if they keep the money, we get interest and penalties. So, so, so let's talk about it. What should we be doing? Here's the thing. We got to get to a point to where you sit down with a certified financial planner and you figure out what do you need to claim on your W-2 income? What do you need to claim on your W? How many do you need to claim on your W-2 income to where you can break even and or you receive maybe a hundred bucks back? Like you're right over, but it's not a lot of money. Like Anthony, oh, that, whoa, wait, what, what, wait, 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 Anthony, that's, that's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, but you keep more money on your check. And some of y'all are saying, that's my way to force myself to save. That's my way to force myself to save for a my spring break vac vacation. That's my way to force a savings account. Well, you guys, that is poor stewardship. That is poor management of saving. It's poor management of saving. So let's talk about it. What should you be doing? I Here is the, here is the number one high-yielded savings account that everyone should open up. And Michelle will put this inside the chat. And we'll put this inside today's show notes. Everyone needs to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash SoFi. SoFi is giving away 4.25 interest on no matter amount of money that you have going in. So if you put $100 in this savings account, you're going to get a 4.25 interest rate return on that $100. 4.25. 4.25. Say it one more time. 4.25. No minimum balance to open it up. You don't have to have a certain amount of, of, of fees. There's no fees attached to it. It's So when you get the money, you put that money in the savings account, and now you're growing your money. See, the IRS doesn't want you to be smart with your money. They want you to overpay so they can use your money throughout the year and then give you back the money they borrowed from you with no interest and no penalties. With no interest and or no penalties. And so I want everybody 
click on that link, sign up for the savings account right now. You, you put $5 in the link. You put $5 into the savings account. You put money into that. Now this year, after you go through your neat taxes, after we get you back the, all of your money, right, that you should have gotten, that you should have kept throughout last year, this year, this year, you need to figure out how can you keep more money in your pocket. And then boom, now you're getting interest. Now you're getting interest on the money that you're saving. I want that to sit right there. I want y'all to really, I, I really want y'all to understand this. I can say this respectfully. I can't stand the freaking IRS. I don't like them. <laughs> I do not like them. But because I am a Christian, I go by what's in this word. I got to obey the laws of the land. So I'm going to pay taxes. I'm going to pay taxes. I'm going to pay what they owe. But at the same time, I'm putting my money in a high yielded savings account. I moved all my money over to SoFi. I'm getting the money. IRS is not, they, I pay the IRS every month. I don't even want a hundred, I don't even want one dollar back. You're not keeping a dollar from me. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pay you. And I'm gonna pay you when my CPA tells me what I gotta pay you, I'm gonna give you your money. I'm cutting the check right then and there. You're not getting no interest out of me, no penalties out of me, and you're not getting one dollar extra out of me that you should not be getting. I'm going to play your game. And we got to start doing the same thing, you guys. We got to start doing that. And so this year, I'm going to be teaching you all how do we properly do that. All right? I'm going to give you another thing. I'm going to bring up my boy, Justin. We're going to really talk about what we're doing here at Neat Taxes and how we can get you back more money this year on your taxes, uh, decently and in order, legally, ethically, and morally correct, you know? And so I'm really excited about that. So number one, you guys, open up a high yield savings account. The link is um, it's in the chat. It should be, um, I don't know why uh, Michelle took it down. Let's not take that down. Let's pin that message up there uh, for a little while. I just pinned it again. Uh, so listen, that's going to be up there. I want y'all to get that high yield savings account today. I don't care if you only put $5 in the savings account, put the $5 in the savings account. This is where you're, you're parking your emergency fund. This is where you're parking, um, all your, your home savings fund, your vacation fund. You're going to put everything into this high yield savings account because why in the world are you putting a thousand dollars in in the bank account, you're getting 0.01%. When compared to, you can get 4.25%. Let, let me let me let me make sure. You know, let me make sure I'm right. I'm sorry, it's 4.6%. Look at look at God. It's 4.6%. 4.6%. Now, Anthony, can you get 5%? Yes. You can get 5%, but do you have over $25,000 sitting in your account right now? So I got a SoFi account and I have a Bank Purely account. My Bank Purely account is keeping my, my emergency emergency fund. What's that? Link's what link's not working? So hold on, hold on. Let me, let me check this out. Let me check this out. Let me see. Let me see. Is that is that why she took it down? Mm -hmm. Hold on. That's why, that's why I'll be good on this live. Hold on. This working? AnthonyO'Neal.com forward slash SOFI. I literally just clicked it. How'd you type it in? AnthonyO'Neal.com Come here and let me look at your laptop again real quick. Y'all, y'all get to meet my boy Jay. All lowercase. Huh? Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so all lowercase. Um, type it in all lowercase, you guys. All lowercase. All, all lowercase. All lowercase. There you go. There you go. We just put it back up there. There you go. All right. Um, there we go. I don't know why, why my, um, why my thing does that. So it's anthonyneal.com forward slash SoFi, all lowercase. Uh, we just put that in the chat. So that should be good to get that. That should be good to go. Um, 4.6, 4.6 is the return. Um, no in, in Anthony, Anthony was misspelled. Oh, okay. Then Anthony was misspelled. Oh, so someone misspelled my name. <laughs> All right, yo, this, that's why we on live, baby. That's why we doing this thing live. That's why we doing this thing live. But hey, 
Click on that. Get it in there. It's 4.6% interest rate. That's that's a crazy, crazy, crazy deal. Um, I'm super excited about it. I'm moving my funds over there. It's good. Here's number two. Here's number two. And I'm bringing my boy Justin. And then we'll be taking your questions um, here in a little bit. Some of y'all going to get upset when I say this. Some of y'all going to get upset when I say this. Uh, some of y'all are going to get upset when, when, when I say this. If you are a barber, if you are a, if you are a, uh, Alex just created that. I did. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. I appreciate y'all working hard. Um, if you are a barber, a hairstylist, I wish, I wish my barber was watching right now. I should text him and tell him to watch it. There are so many of you all who try to, who try to, uh, cut corners with the IRS. And you think because you didn't file last year, you didn't file the year before that the IRS forgot about you. Nah, darling. Nah, my guy. Nope. They didn't forget about you. What does the Bible say? He may not show up. Well, not, well, not the Bible. What does the song say? He may not show up when you want him, but he's going to show up right on time. And here's the truth. The IRS may not get you today, but they're going to get you. <laughs> they are going to get you. And when they get you, if you owe money, oh, they hitting you with all kind of fees and penalties. And the IRS wants you to think that you got away so they can get more money out of you. When if the average honest barber and, and hairstylist and people like tips, if you honestly just got on the system and got with a CPA, got with someone who can sit down and show you how to set up your books, how to do this thing correctly, you can write off and save a lot of money. So the IRS wants you to think that, hey, I didn't file this year. Hey, I'm not going to file this year to keep my money. But no, they want you to think that. But here's the truth. They're going to get you. Can I be real? I was selling cars. And I made the most money I ever made that year. And I didn't pay any federal taxes. I didn't pay. I paid state taxes, but I didn't pay, I didn't pay any federal taxes. I said, oh, man, you know, I'll worry about it. I'll pay it off next year. But when I realized I didn't get no, no bill, uh, no, no nothing like that, man, I was like, yo, listen, I'll just, I'll just skip it. I remember waking up one year, one, not one year, one day, I was going out on a date. Can I be real with y'all? I was going out on a date. I went out on a date. I went to McDonald's. We were just getting a little lunch date. McDonald's. I think I was charging maybe 15 bucks to the card. My bank card declined. I was like, yo, I know I got $15 in that account. Yo. Like, I ain't got a whole lot up in that joint, but I know I got $15. Don't play with me, bro. Swiped it again, declined. She ended up paying for the $15. I was like, yo, I got you. I, I, I'll take care of you when I get home. I get home. I call the bank. Hey, man, the IRS froze your account, sir. So you have to call them. They have to send us a letter to release your account, to release your funds. Right now, they have a, uh, I forgot what they call it. They have a freeze on your account. They have a hold on your account. Uh, no, they had a lien on your account. Something like that. I forgot the name of it. I haven't had it in years. I mean, this is, I was like 24, 20, yeah, about 23, 24. So I called them and said, yes, sir, you haven't paid taxes and um, you haven't paid your last two years of taxes um, and you owe us money, sir. So uh, once you can get that taken care of, we can release it. I was like, hey, ma'am, this is what I got to do. I got to work. I got to pay. I got to pay my, my apartment. It's like, well, hey, if you can file your taxes, you know, uh, what I'll do is I'll release it, but you have two weeks to get your taxes filed. And then after two weeks, whatever you owe, you have another two weeks to get that payments. If not, we will take a lien out. We, pull, we will pull the money from you. And I said, okay, all right, I got you. I got you. I literally had to jump on the phone with someone and file them taxes um, and get it taken care of. But here's a good thing. This is why I love need taxes. And we can go ahead and bring up Justin. This is why I love neat taxes is because everyone is going to we're going to make sure that we help your taxes, your tax situation be neat. It's not going to be messy. It's not going to be grimy. You're not going to have any issues. Uh, and what we can do is we can go all the way back to the year of 2019. I'll check. I'll check with Justin to make sure that that I'm saying this correctly. But we can go all the way back to 2019, help you get your money. Now, here's the truth. If you owe money, you're going to pay taxes and penalties. If you are due money, 
you, you don't have to pay any taxes and penalties, you know, uh, but we can only go back to 2019. And I think legally, and I think Justin, correct this if I'm correct, because I know, I, know, I know my stuff. I am a money guy. But I think like after the third year, if you do owe money, you're actually forfeited. So let's say if you didn't pay taxes in 2018 and you were due like $10,000 from 2018, there's a possibility you're not getting that, that money. So I mean, I'll, I'll check with Justin, uh, but I think I think that is the case. Like if if you owe money from five, I mean if you were due money from five years ago, uh oh, uh oh, you don't lost that money. But what I'm excited about is we've created a, a brand new partnership with um, SmartWiz, and I sat down with them and I said, hey man, I want to provide a, a, an affordable, um, a neat process to help people get their taxes taken care of. And so we started a new company called Neat Taxes um, in partnership with SmartWiz. Um, and I'm excited uh, to have my brother, Justin, um, here on the show. What's going on, Jay? What's going on, Anthony? What's going on, brother? Man, I'm doing good, brother, man. I appreciate you for jumping on and and having this conversation with me. Let me turn you up in my ear, brother, uh, so I can hear you good. Uh, because, you know, I like to make sure that I can hear my people. But, man, I, I want to talk to you about one our partnership and what we've what we've come up with and why is it important for people to really rock with the neat taxes and the neat, ta neat taxes movement that that we're doing like what makes neat taxes different from other tax filing uh corporations yeah what you've what you've created for your community is something that shouldn't be taken lightly like uh, to everyone listening, um, you know, a lot of people have had horror stories with their tax professionals, people who they possibly filed with in the past. They didn't get all their refund that they were due. Some tax professionals ran off. You can't even get in contact with them to get your previous year. And that's a big that's a big headache, because as Anthony talks about all the time, when it comes time to do big business, buy a house, purchase a car, you're going to need your taxes yeah. and they need to be in order. To the point, neat. And what Anthony has created um, in, in partnership with us is a beautiful platform where you can feel confident, you can feel secure, and you can know that you're getting your best possible refund. So to the point of the barber who maybe hasn't filed their taxes uh, in the past, you can feel confident of coming to neat taxes to get your taxes done. You have your books. Let them know, hey, Anthony, I brought in a smooth 50 racks. Hey, but what write-offs come with that? Not that you're going to owe the IRS, but we're going to work, make sure that you're worked down what you owe the IRS so that you can take advantage of all the money that you worked hard for year in and year out for. I'm curious, man, in your experience, because you've been in this for years. I mean, you, you and your team started this thing back in y'all's 20s while y'all was in school. So I'm just excited about this partnership and, and us building um, this even further down the road in, into multiple years. But when you have people like a barber, like a hairstylist, I can't tell you how many times I've been told, man, I ain't filed taxes in a while, or I filed taxes, but I made 100,000, but I only told them I made 20,000, right? And I'm like, yeah, but, but, but you're, you're scamming the IRS, and eventually they're going to find out. Why is, it why is it important to tell the truth on your taxes, but then get with someone like you all, a tax professional who can show them how to, uh, to show, hey, yeah, I made a hundred thousand, but here's my adjusted gross income or my adjusted income down to twenty thousand, rather than saying, hey, I only made twenty thousand and I'm only writing off five thousand, so I only can be taxed on fifteen thousand. Like, why do we want to be honest and truthful up front and use the tax benefits or the tax write-offs to our benefit in those particular career fields, like the cash only? Uh, industries? Yeah, 100%. That's a great question. And uh, what everyone needs to understand is that everything is fairly monitored, right? So regardless of whether they say back in the day, Cash App doesn't report to the IRS, guess what happened now, right? Yep. You know, um, they, they start to really manhandle all transactional platforms so they know what's really being tied into. You have to enter your name and your social security on all form PayPal, uh, Venmo, Cash App, so they know what's coming in. Whether you want to say it's for business use or not, they know the transaction that's coming in dollars. The only thing that's not uh, fairly reported all the time is cash, right? 
So that's why you see a lot of instances where waiters and waitresses may not always report their full amount of tips. But guess what? When you get that W-2 at the end of the day or that 1099, you have to report your tips. And that's what is reflected. So in some form or fashion, being truthful is always the best scenario. Now, being truthful can cause you to owe a lot of money. But having a great tax professional, it don't matter. It don't, don't matter. matter. Because I'll give a prime example. Real estate agents yield probably the quickest amount of money in the shortest time period. Yeah. Uh, they flip houses. They have um, high income coming in. And I had a particular client that uh, she brought in um, $750,000 for the year. Mm. Uh, and she was killing it. Multi-million real estate agent in Atlanta. And I said, girl, I ain't going to lie. You owe a lot of money. And this is how neat taxes breaks it down. They're going to let you know where you stand so yeah. you can have a financial sense of where you are as a business owner, as um, a nine to fiver, wherever your tax situation is. And then they give you the results. Yeah. So you know yeah. how good hands you are in. So yeah. we was able to work her from Owen. She owed, she owed, she owed roughly around 200000 at its face value. And we was able to work that down to owing eighty thousand. That's eighty thousand, one hundred and twenty thousand in savings from all her write-offs. Yeah, and that's just the fact of knowing the industry, knowing um, truly the lifestyle that that particular uh, real estate agent uh, leads. So when she takes these trips, when she show off these listings, when she flip these houses, how to minimize the amount of uh, tax liability, aka the money you owe to the IRS, you have. Man, yeah, listen, dream example. And that's a great example. Another example to compliment that, man. I remember the first year I crossed over a million dollars. Um, I was like, yo, I am scared. I know this tax bill is about to be crazy. Well, because I did the tax strategy, my final tax bill after making over a million dollars was less than 60,000. Legally ethically and morally. We didn't lie about nothing. We didn't hold anything back. We reported every dollar that we made, but then we also reported every dollar that we can legally and ethically write off. And then the next year, we I think we did a little over 2 million. And then I think my, my tax bill was like a hundred and something thousand dollars. I'm not complaining about spending a hundred something thousand out of a $2 million situation. Right. And so I think it's very, very important for us to understand, for those of you all listening right now, uh, there is a benefit for being a W-2 employee and having a side hobby. Here's something, too, that the IRS doesn't want you to know that we teach you at Neat Taxes. And we're going to put the information up on the screen now to where if you want to get involved in this movement, you can go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash neat taxes to get your biggest tax refund uh, because here the uh, here y'all know at the table man i, I want to maximize your tax return so we can help you minimize your debt and build wealth right that that's it i want you to maximize your tax return so we can put this towards eliminating your debt and you can start the process of building wealth and how do we invest that you're going to put into the h uh, hysa high yield savings account you're going to put that money into your debt you're going to put that money into an investment account but that's what we're going to do we are going to set you up with that and we're going to walk through the process of what you need to be doing before you all going to just sign up. Uh, but we're going to walk you through the process. But here's, here's, I don't know where I was about to go with that before I just said that. I don't know what <laughs> I was about to say. Uh, and, and make sure, you know, as people click that link, right? Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's displayed up right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure, guys, you have your documents in order. That's the right. biggest thing that you got to make sure, right? Yeah. You come to the table, right? Come to the table with all your uh, W-2s, your 1099s, everything ready to submit. Then you go ahead and submit, and we go ahead and go through the consultation process and get you your maximum refund. Um, you know, you don't want to prematurely start the process um, and kind of mess up the flow of getting your uh, tax refund um, or your tax outcome as soon as possible. Absolutely. And I think that's very important. Thank you for saying that. I was going right there. My mind is all over the place right now. I got so much on my mind right now. I'm super excited about today because it's like we're, we're introducing something that I believe is going to help people. 
it, it's, 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 it's not helping me. It's, it's helping you all. You know, we've partnered with the organization that knows what they're doing, um, that is allowing uh, us to partner with them to to bring our E3 community to you all uh, to really position this to where, hey, we can get our taxes done neatly and we can get it done with no stress and no mess. But I want to echo what he said, you guys. You guys got to give us five business days to to uh, respond to you because what we are literally being flooded right now. But we're going to get you your biggest tax return. I can guarantee you that much. I, I can definitely guarantee you that much. Uh, but give us five business days. Five business days, family, doesn't include the weekend. So if you upload all your stuff on Friday, Saturday and Sunday doesn't count as a business day. It's Monday through Friday. And then I also want to encourage you to wear we can get you a quote back um, here uh, within our team, within five, um, not within five business days, but we can get you a quote back, let you know, hey, this is the return that we can get you. But to get you the best quote back, I want to highly encourage you to consider having a cons consultation. Um, uh, we didn't make consultations required this year because I kicked this off last Friday saying, hey, we're going to get you a free quote. And I want to be a man of my word to that. We will get you a free quote. But to get, to get you the best quote, to, to really sit down with you and ask you some detailed questions that you may not even know, right? You may not even know you can write off. Uh, like, I, I didn't know that if my grandmother was living with me, right? She's a write-off. She is a dependent. And like, some of you all have some, some dependents living with you that are not necessarily your kids, but yeah. you can add that as a write-off. I didn't know that I could write off my dog sometimes because she's helping me out with my business. I was like, wait, my CPA is like, yo, is are you using Raven to market anything? I was like, yeah, using this, da 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 da. And but I didn't know. I didn't know that if my car, I thought I only can write off my car that's over six thousand pounds, but my Bentley, because I do pick people up in it, because I do use it for certain things, I can write off a portion of how I my car. Although I don't have a car note, I can write off with a portion of the depreciation. I was like, well, OK, like, all right. So there's a lot of things that that if you go to uh, these other companies, I won't mention them because I, I, I don't knock them. But if you go to these other companies uh, where it's automatically they don't ask you the right questions that our team here at the Neat Taxes are going to ask you. Right. They're, they're, they're not. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's bigger. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I, I just, you just made a great point, and I, I just had to get this out because yeah. the point that you made was if you go to other companies, they're not going to ask you all these questions, and it's bigger than taxes with neat taxes. At the end of the day, when you get these consultations, you know, uh, you're getting asked the right questions. We're going through your tax strategy. We're also helping you develop a generational mindset to make sure that you are able to put your business. Uh, to always create a sense of income for you and your family. So that's a great point. You know what? This is why I love my community. Shanice, Shanice Tarver, you, thank you so much because you put me right back on track. I didn't know. And this is something that my team learned and I learned when we went to tax school with uh, Smart Wiz. Uh, this, this is why I just love neat taxes because they're just teaching us so much and they are the experts and they are the ones who are filing the taxes. Now, these are the people who's been in it for years, 10 plus years doing this thing and getting people back the money. But I didn't know that, hey, listen, if you have a legit hobby and let's say you do not have a legit LLC, you can still write off the expense like it's a business. Say what? So if you're doing hair on the side. You got people coming to your house and you're having to buy hair. You're having to buy products. You can write that off as a business expense, even though you do not have an LLC. Because the LLC is for protection. You can still write off your business stuff. And so you still want to get an LLC for protection and to be fully, fully licensed up underneath the government to do what you got to do. But there are still a whole bunch of things that if, if you cutting hair, man, your tools, man, your clippers, write it off. If you baking cakes, write it off. If you cutting grass on the side and they paying you cash, you can write off the lawn. Like there are so many different things that I did not know. If you clean houses, man, you can write off the Windex. Come on, Windex. You know? And so that's why I'm like, yo, listen, neat taxes is what's up. And so um, we are opening the thing up. We already got 500 people in there. 
Uh, we announced last last week we're only going to do a 500, uh, but uh, SmartWiz said, "Hey, listen, man, we're going to partner with you, um, like we said, and we're going to we're going to we're going to make sure that we get your people done because we want to be a blessing to them." And so, listen, uh, it's going to be we're going to get you a free quote, as we said, but I highly recommend. I highly recommend that you sign up for the for the consultation. The consultation is thirty five dollars. It's fifteen minutes of your time, and we can guarantee from there we're going to get you the best money back for the bang of your buck, quick, fast, um, and and in a hurry. And we'll see you next year. Um, and I'm really excited because even throughout the year, uh, as we're building this part of the Neatness Network, we're going to be sending you information throughout the year. Like, hey, have you looked at your W-2? Hey, have you looked into this? Hey, have you done this? Because I don't want to just file your taxes. I want this to be an educational experience. One of the things Dave Ramsey used to teach me when I was working with him is like, hey, when you find a financial advisor, make sure that, that they are the educational financial advisor. So they're, they're not just you know, telling you what to do or doing the things for you. They're educating you throughout the year on why they're making these decisions. And so that's what we're going to be doing here at Need Taxes. We're going to be educating you on the tax stuff, on what you need to be doing throughout the year. So when you do come to file, you should already know what you're getting back or what you're going to owe. And we're just doing the filing for you. And you're, it's an easy breeze from there. So we're building this out and I'm super excited. But go to Neat Taxes, uh, anthonyneal.com forward slash Neat Taxes. Make sure, though, please make sure that when you file your taxes, when you file your taxes, all right, uh, when you create your account, that you upload all of your documents, your W-2 forms, because your five business days launch once you upload all of your forms. So if you just create your account and you don't hear from us, well, you didn't hear from us because you didn't upload all of your documents. Once you upload all of your documents, that's when the five business days start. Our team is going to get um, on it. You'll be able to go over there and create a, ca a calendar invite to where you'll be able to sit down with one of our tax pros. It's not me because I'm not a tax pro. I ain't going to lie to you, right? And so you may see Justin, you may see Joy, Victoria, you may see some, the other tax pros, uh, but I'm not a tax pro. So you ain't going to see me. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Uh, but I am leading this, this part of the company and I'm super excited about it. So go to anthonyneal.com forward slash neat taxes. Hey, put it in the comment section. Um, if you're going to check us out, give us the opportunity to get you the most bang back so we can start eliminating debt, building your wealth. But I'm super excited, man. Before we start taking calls, Justin, is there anything... Uh, that you want to say in regards to neat taxes, why it's important, why uh, why it's important to trust us. Yeah, that's it. Why should they trust us with their information? You, one thing you got to understand is that no one has your back like Anthony has your back. He goes nah. hard for his community. And another thing is, is we realize that your lifestyle is a write-off. A lot of tax professionals don't understand. Let me, let me, let me rewind. Let me rewind. At Neat Taxes, we understand that your lifestyle is a write-off. Come on now. Other tax professionals don't understand that. What I mean by that, Anthony has already cooked up and said, if you cut grass, if you do hair, if you do lashes in, in, your, in your kitchen, that's a write-off. You have a business. If you are in the pursuit of profit and you're trying to get to your bag, we got some write-offs waiting for you because we understand the industry of this entrepreneur lifestyle that not a lot of tax professionals will either A, take the time to ask you, or B, have the time frame to even just sit down and talk to you. That's the beauty of that consultation. Yeah. So to my surprise of a, of a $35 consultation charge, you're getting everything you could ask for in 15 minutes to not only get your taxes done, but shift your mindset for the rest of the year. Yeah. Guys, we only two days into the tax season. Mm. Tax season started two days ago, mm. and we're opening opportunity and dreams for neat taxes to make sure that every single person that's dropping it in the comments right now, I'm getting my taxes done with you guys. I'm going to rock out with you guys, are going to get situated, handled, and on their way to their best possible tax outcome. And you know what? Here's something, too, I want to say. It's one thing that I'm very, very crucial on. I don't like scams. I don't like get rich quick schemes and I and I do not like misleading people. The reason why it's called neat taxes is because we want it done neatly. So if you come to us and say you spent $5,000 on an expense but you only made $100, we're going to tell you, "Hey, 
maybe not, maybe so. Like, we're going to tell you the truth on this is a good, good idea or now nah, we're just going to have to bite the bullet on this one. We're not just be writing something off just because you said it. We're going to guide you and make sure that we're doing things legally and ethically, which is why I'm like, hey, you guys, make sure that everyone knows who's working on my stuff, I'm working on my customers, that we're doing this thing legally and ethically. Because I don't, I don't want, I don't want no audits. I, I, I don't want that. I don't want people. I don't want us writing off things just to get more money back. But then it's not legally, it's not ethically, and it's not even morally right. And so that's what I love about us is that we're going to make sure that we get you the most back, legally, ethically, and morally. And so if you come to us and say, yeah, I only made $100, but I, I wrote off $5,000. Well, if this is your first year, that may make sense, right? I, I don't know. I'm not in the tax business. But if you've been doing this hobby for six years and you're still only making $100, but you're writing off $10,000 every year, maybe we need to look at the tiny kind of business that you're doing. It just, it just doesn't make no sense. Uh, and so we're going to have that conversation. So, again, go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash neat taxes. Let's maximize your tax return so we can minimize your debt, build your wealth, and get you the biggest tax return, the biggest tax refund in the year of 2024. But then we're going to educate you throughout the year on how can you keep the most money, put it inside of your SoFi high yielded savings account, right, that we put inside today's show notes uh, because we want to make sure that you're saving. And as a matter of fact, when you get your tax return, you guys, you should be putting some of this money into your high yielded savings. All right. So open up a high yield of savings today. Go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash SoFi. That is all lowercase on SoFi. Uh, you're gonna, gonna put that in there and then you'll open an account, put $5 in the account. So that way when you get your tax return from neat taxes, boom, you'll be good. All right, so we're, we're, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, Justin's gonna stay on with us for a little bit. We're gonna take your questions. Uh, well, actually, wait, Justin, can you stay on? I wanna make sure you can stay on. Hey man, we rocking and rolling. Hey, man, let's do it. So if you have any questions about anything around finances, hey, anything around taxes, let's say you owe um, an extra tax. I mean, and maybe let's say you owe from 2019, you owe from uh, 2020, you owe, you know, you have some tax questions. Give us a call. All you got to do is go to anthonyoneal.com slash call AO and make sure when you come up that your camera is on. OK, uh, once your camera is on, uh, then uh, Jay will allow you to come on up. But you can ask us any questions around. I had someone hit me up, say, hey, man, I have a question about I went out on a date. Uh, do, do you believe in 50 50? You, you can come ask that question. Uh, and so if you have any kind of questions in regards to money, hey, what debt should I pay off? Um, how much should I be saving? How much should I be? investing how should i pay this debt off first student loan questions tax questions we got the tax professional here who can help you uh, with any kind of tax questions i'm getting my pen and my paper open uh, so we can uh, take some notes down let me make sure this is is on my pen pad is open okay there we go are we good there oh we are good to go and so listen go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash call a o my boy Jay will bring you up on screen and the phone lines are already flooded um, and they're coming in. And so if you have any uh, tax questions, uh, boom, make sure that you are good. You are going to be on video. So make sure you're on video. Make sure your mic is good. Make sure your, you know, your, ear, your AirPods are on. No speakerphone uh, because we're going to have a great, 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 great time. I like that right there. Thank you, Jay. So our first guest is Brandy. Uh, Brandy is coming in with this fast. Uh, I see this ring on her hand. Look at God. The man that took good care of Brandy. Boy. I don't know if it's her man or what. Or she just bought the ring herself. But I see that fat ring. Boy. Brandy, what's going on, my sister? How can we help you? Uh, my name is Brandy. Um, I graduated as a resident nurse um, last year, 2023. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And so before I graduated, I went into agency, um, an agency LPN. Okay. And when I became agency LPN, I started working for this agency called Clipboard Health, which sends us not a W two but a ten ninety nine. Yep. And so they don't, we don't really take our taxes. They don't take our no taxes. They just stipend our money to our, our account. Yep. So I didn't know that the, I was hitting. <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't know you weren't getting no taxes taken out, huh? Yeah, I knew I was getting was getting taxes taken out, but I didn't know that I was almost at one hundred thousand dollars before I before mm -hmm. taxes came. So by the end of the year, they was like, "Oh, you didn't pay no tax," and I was like, "And then I did it again this year." Okay. Where I still work for agency, but I haven't took out taxes. Okay. 
All right. So let, let's talk about this um, because I'm fully aware of that. And and, and I want to understand this, um, it too. And, and Justin, you may know this question because I have some friends who do this. There are agencies that will allow you to go from a 1099 to where they are taking out taxes. Uh, so that way you can pay for them in advance. But a lot of people choose not to have the taxes taken out because they want to have their money. But uh, so did you file your taxes last year or did you not file your taxes? I didn't file my taxes because okay. when I had looked at everything, it was like I was like the the way the tax was like I was at ninety eight hundred ninety eight thousand dollars. Okay. And so I didn't file them. And you were scared to file them because you thought you're going to owe a lot of money, huh? Well, I had someone look at it and they said I was going to owe a lot. What's a lot? Um, I think it was like fifteen, sixteen. Fifteen, yeah, 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 yeah. fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars. Because are you single? I am actually married. Yeah, I but saw I that. I got married ring. last year. I got I married that. last year. Yeah, so that ring was that, that ring was hitting. That was a type of different because the year I didn't file, I was single, and uh, now that I just got married last year, cool. I. All right, cool, Justin. What what should what should she do, bro? How can we help her out of need taxes? Yeah, so this is how we're going to go about it. We're going to have to file both years, right? The previous year and this tax year. That fifteen, seventeen thousand uh, dollars is on point. That's at face value. Remember how I said earlier, at face value, just like that person did, hey girl, this is how much you owe, right? But the beauty of it all is, so did you travel with your uh, LPN position? Yeah, I traveled with my LPN and my RN. Come on now. You see why That's I'm going right with on. This? So, it, was it state to state or was it just within a city? It was border state, so one state. Okay, cool. So, the beauty of this too is, um, and this is a rule of thumb for everyone that's watching, whatever you have received on a 1099 or something that's untaxed income, you're gonna owe roughly around 15%. My rule of thumb, have 20% of whatever you say. Moving forward, starting now, right? Starting now, uh, February 1st being tomorrow, go ahead and start accruing 20% into a savings. To Anthony's point, the high yield savings account. Because at the end of the year, when it's time to report your taxes, at face value, you would have enough to go ahead and pay back. And that 16000 doesn't feel like a lot because you're educated in the matter of knowing like, hey, I know this money is untaxed. I need to put this in my savings, not touch it. So when you come to need taxes and we do the write-offs, so write-offs would include your scrubs, stethoscope, your travel, your gas. Uh, when did you purchase your car by chance? Oh, my God. I purchased it before I was even a nurse. Cool. But we're still utilizing what, what kind of car is it? A Traverse. Okay, cool. So even from the mileage or the depreciation, man, that's a beautiful word, guys. Uh -huh. Depreciation. Because knocking down $16,000 is, is icing on the cake. You just got to make sure that you have the qualified expenses. And sometimes when you essentially have a W-2 job, which is being a nurse, but it's 1099 payout, there's not many uh, write-offs that you have, but depreciation is a word, guys, that I want you to understand because we're now able to take your car, your Traverse, on uh, one year, three year, or five year is the top that I would recommend depreciation so that, if you don't mind me saying, how much did you pay for that car? Um, I got the car. It was like 15000 so we will use that $15,000 car over the next three to five years. Or if you just like, Justin, I don't want to owe nothing, write the whole car off. A one-year depreciation, and that will make that money disappear and mitigate from, around, I would say, $15,000 owed to roughly around that two or $3,000. Something a little bit more palatable. At the end of the day, there's no way of getting around you owing that $16,000 at face value. It's about working with the tax professional and company that's going to make sure that we work that down to as little as possible so that it's an easier tax liability for you. Because um, for you and your husband, the thing is, let's just say you say, you know, I'm not, I, I, just, I just still not going to file. Your husband got to file his taxes and y'all have to file a married joint. Oh, I'm cooking. Do not, everyone listening, do not file married filing separate. When you hear tax brackets, y'all hear that all the time. Uh -huh. What does that mean? When you have different filing status, single, married joint, married separate, and head of household, 
Everyone follow me. I'm going to say it one more time. You have single, married, filing joint, head of household, and married, filing separate. If you are married and you file separate from your spouse, you are losing out on thousands of dollars in tax credits. Do not do that to yourself. So, and I'm not yelling at you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I get passionate. <laughs> I want everyone to understand. You want to file married joint. That's going to help you with how much you're going to owe. But on top of that, you're going to have amazing write-offs that we're going to do the consultation. This is all the stuff we, this is a live representation of what a consultation is like. Yeah. Off rip, I already know I'm going to work her down from 16000 to about 2000 Guaranteed. Right. Brandon, what did you owe for last year? I know you said two years. So the first year was 15000 Do you have an estimate about what did you make last year in 2023? That's what I, that's what it is. 98000 Yeah. And this year, I think it was like 110000 or something. Yo. When I looked it all up Brandon, and I it, just became a nurse. So this, that's why I was about to say this. Can we just celebrate it? You making this money. Yeah. How old are you, Brandy? How old are you? I'm 38 years young. Oh, girl, you you young. You know what I'm saying? You young. You young, girl. You making this money. Oh, I love it. I love it. Sorry, Brandon. So you need to get beneath taxes. You definitely need to go on ahead and register for the consultation. Uh, so that, that so that way one of our pros can just sit down with you um, and walk you through and ask you all the right questions. And we'll take care of your last two years and make that happen. But then two, Brandon, what you need to do as well is you do need, once we get you, you filed, right. You do need to sit down with like a, another tax professional. I would say even preferably a, a certified financial planner that can sit down and give you the strategy for this year. Right. And so the strategy is this. Okay. So if you're going to be always a 1099 person, what are the things that you can write off legally and how much money should you be setting aside? Justin said, hey, you need to set aside 20%. I love that math because I set aside about 25, 30% of my company's money every single month and we pay quarterly taxes. But here's the thing, with the right strategy, everyone listening, okay, everyone listening, with the right strategy, I've never, Justin, had to use all 30% of that money. I've exactly. never, not one time, had to use all 30%, but it felt good knowing that I had this money sitting in a high-yielded savings account, making some extra money on it. Then with my tax professional, my certified financial planner, um, Shania Wilson, who says, hey, A.O., here's your check. I'm like, bet. I'm going to go use this other money and get this thing right here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not stressed, Brandy, because I was like, dang, I didn't know. Like, I didn't save. Like, I didn't. Uh, no, no, no. So this is why uh, we suggest to everyone, if, if you have a business, uh, you need to set aside at least 20% into a high yield savings account. Again, go to anthonyoneal.com slash SoFi. Open an account, even if it's with $5, Brandy and every, who's, whoever's watching. Um, and then from there, uh, you get with our tax pro. But, Brandy, thank you so much for calling. Congrats on being married for a year. What's up, sis? You got another question? I just wanted to tell you, I watched you yesterday for the first time. But before I watched you, I was praying God for strategies to save it. Man. Because this is the first two years where I've ever been out of my bracket of $5,000. What? And I went from a food stamp card and a cell phone to seven years of going to school to becoming close to a hundred thousand dollars with everything i've been doing and i came to your page off the internet and i was just asking god for strategies because if i'm making money and i'm not seeing the repercussions of then some something private is taken from me i'm not wise and so when i watched you yesterday i actually clicked on your page downloaded your stuff and then i began to watch you and i just want to tell you that before i got to your page i asked god i said god if i i really want to talk to him and I was the first person. So that Man, means he, you know what? He was in speed. In Psalms, he said he was in speed and he was speedy oh. at this one. So oh, thank you. Man. And you have a blessed, blessed, prosperous, and healthy year. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much, Brandon. Man, that just right. made me. That just made me get a little emotional, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That just made me get a little that just made me get a little, little, little emotional. Uh, because that's what it's all about. You know, we we here at the Neatness Network here at the table. We really care for people, man. You know, this is why we partnered with Justin and SmartWiz, because we wanted to make sure that we can provide something that is going to help our people. I'm tired of seeing my brothers and sisters, specifically black brothers and sisters, 
broke. And I think the reason why we're broke, Justin, is because we don't know the strategy. We don't know the strategy on how to build wealth. This sister just said, man, she about to make me cry. She just said that she went from food stamps to a cell phone to making $5,000 yep. to now making $8,000 a month. Y'all understand what I'm saying right here? Simply because, oof, she prayed for her increase. Uh, we just did this last week. She prayed for her increase. God answered her prayer. She was Googling how the strategy said, nah, nah, nah. come across Anthony O'Neill and what we're teaching here at the table. Downloads all the stuff. Now look at her. Man, my Lord. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Listen, you guys, this is, if you want the system, if you want the strategies, this is the table. This is the family. As we're getting our next caller prepared, um, I'm super excited about what we're doing here. And if you haven't subscribed to the family, I don't call this family YouTube subscribers. No, 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 no. I call this family the E3 community, where we're expanding, where we're increasing the areas of abundance, wellness, and freedom. And I don't want you to be a spectator. I, I don't want you to be a part of this and just spectating. No, be a part of it because every, well, as we get the next person ready, because I mean, I'm, I'm excited about this, as, 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 as uh, Jay is loading the next person up. <clears throat> Monday, we put out a new show. And we're, we're coming to you, Maurice, so be ready. You got your scrubs on. I see you. I see your scrubs. I'm coming to you. Um, I just bless my heart. I see a black man in scrubs. Come on. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is this, this what I'm talking about. Come, man, listen. Let me hurry up and say this. When I see black men, black men, black men doing their thing, boy, I get excited, boy. Let me get, let me get through this thing. I forgot what I was saying, Lord Jesus. This is what I was saying. You know, I, 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 we're focusing in the areas of increasing in abundance, wellness, and freedom. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. That's it. Hit the subscribe button. And every Monday we come out with a brand new show. It's for your increase. Everything that we're releasing from the Neatness Network, it's for your increase. It's not for my increase. It's for your increase, right? So every Monday we're re we are releasing a show. And that's about teaching and, and stuff like that. Tuesday, we release a brand new blog on my website. That's for your increase. How to save, how to invest, how to pay off debt, how to make more money, top side jobs, how to get into the nursing career field, how, how to get into the tax career field. Like We're releasing a blog that's teaching you what to do. Wednesday, we go live every Wednesday at 12 o'clock. We answer your questions. Thursdays, we release another show. And another blog. Fridays, like every single day of the week, we're releasing something for your increase. But you got to be a part of the community. You got to be a part of the family. And you got to be a part of the For Your Increase newsletter so that way you can see all the information and be checking my website out every single day because we're releasing brand new articles. And so hit subscribe, share this on Instagram, and we're going to go over to Maurice, man. Maurice, my brother, what's going on, man? How you feeling, man? What up, what up, what up? I'm doing good. I can't complain. Complain. This is the day that Lord has truly made. Man, I first off just want to say thank you for your obedience and uh, doing what you do on the platform, man. I, it's, it's needed. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm 25. I'm a registered nurse. nurse. I'm a married man. Um, I graduated debt free. Um, um, I have my wife's debt that we're paying off. We're about to be debt free in 15 months. Okay. Um, I'm going to stick to the tax question because that's what we're here for. So my question is, how, how to best file taxes. So like I said, I'm married with one dependent, a beautiful nine month, month baby uh, girl. My wife's a school teacher. Like I said, I'm a registered nurse and I make some extra cash from content creation and collaborations with that, you know, paying off that debt with gazelle intensity. Um, I make money on the side on social media where God has blessed me with a platform. I don't know how people say, how'd you get 3 million followers on TikTok? How'd you get over hundred K on Instagram? I don't know how uh, it's all glory and honor to God, but I make some extra cash on that. And I get these 1099s from collaborations. And sometimes I go to different, you know, schools or group homes to speak. I submit a W9 and they hit me with these 1099s. And I just want to know, I don't have an LLC. So what's the best way for me to file these taxes? And so like, you know, I can, you know, maximize my tax return, minimize my debt and build with what's the best way for me to file my taxes, 
you know, get these write-offs. I don't have a, you know, like I said, an LLC, but what's the best way to do that? Last year I had to owe about 2000. I just want to make sure I'm doing things the right way and, and just stewarding over what God has blessed me with, honestly. Nah, man, I love this question, Maurice. And I just want to salute you as a black man who's, who's happily married. Happily has man, a new born. That I, I see it. I see. I see the smile on your face. I'm like, whoever she is, but she giving you that glow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love seeing black men happily married, faithful, and uh, being a father as well, man. And I love that. What would you say um, on the side? And then we'll bring in Jess. I'm going to ask her just some preliminary questions, so we both know exactly how to help you out and serve you here. What would you say? What is what was your combined income last year, W-2-wise? Just W-2-wise, what was y'all's combined so, income? W-2-wise, so I make about 88K a month, okay. a year, a year. And okay. she makes about 41,000 as a school a school teacher, so you add that up, it's so about 120K. And yep. then on, from the 1099, the side hustle, I'm about, you know, it's, it kind of depends, but it roughly around 20K, extra 20K. How, you 25? I'm 25. Yes, sir. How old is your wife? My wife, she's 23. 23? And y'all making $140,000 combined income? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm yeah. That's... Not God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to let Justin come in and ask a tax question. Then I'm going to give you some some stuff um, on the side, man. But I, I just want to say this before Justin come in. If, if you work this thing right, Maurice, it sounds like you're asking the question that I hear from a spiritual perspective is how do I become a good steward of the resources God has given me? Because I got, I want God to give me more, but I got to steward this part first. Well, and at 25, your combined household income is double the average household income right now. Mm. So I, I really want you to understand if you can get this information at 25 years old, get this information, listen to Justin, Get connected with the neat taxes or whomever you want to file taxes with, whoever you trust. And steward this well. Brother, you're going to be a millionaire before you turn 40. And when I say a millionaire, you're going to be worth a million dollars. Making a million dollars is going to be easy for you, especially with three million on TikTok. It's going to be easy. And quick question, too. Uh, it's my show. I can ask this. What do you do on TikTok? Are you doing stuff like around the nursing stuff? Like what kind of content are you doing? On, on TikTok and Instagram, I post positive, uplifting content. I truly believe that God has called me to be a light in a world mm -hmm. that is truly dark. So I'm posting, you know, prayer videos, motivational videos, me hopping over cars, just praying for people. Uh, it's really on the vein of motivational inspiration and just Bible, man. I, I do daily Bible verses where I open the front door and say, hey, I'm Maurice and this is your verse of the day. Stuff like that is really just spiritual, uplifting content. Wow. Dude, I love it. Dude, I love it. I love it. All right. What's up, Justin? What you thinking, man? Help him out, man. Man, Maurice, man, you 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 winning, man. You winning. I, I love it because everything that you said I can relate to on a personal level, right? So from the content creation, I know it's like getting those 1099s as you get those brand deals, especially with your following count, et cetera, that's going to be rolling in heavy. Uh, so you got your W-2, um, you and your wife's W-2, your uh, wife's a teacher. So she has uh, teacher credits that she can use, right? There's uh, write-offs that we can use. Um, just from a teacher's perspective, even though she's a W-2 employee, the IRS has um, some some write-offs that are set in place that only teachers can use on their tax returns. So that's the upper hand that she has. Now, let me just assume, since you have a, a new child, is it a son or a daughter? She's a beautiful baby girl. Her name is Malia. It's a daughter. Wonderful. Okay. So do you put your daughter in your content? Yes. You see where I'm going with this? So let's let's break this down real quick, okay? <laughs> you got you got your you got your wife who's a W two. Got, got again, guys. This is what a neat taxes consultation looks like. All right, you have your wife who's a W two who's a teacher. She already has teacher credits that she's going to get. Then mm -hmm. you also have um, you, your job, right? But you have your content creation. What you have in content creation that makes what I said earlier your, your lifestyle is now a write off. So with your daughter, she, uh, I assume since y'all are both at work, she goes to daycare? Yes, she does. Daycare expenses, ain't it? Ooh, yeah. Come on. So you're going to now use, and if you don't mind me asking, how much do you pay for daycare? So we kind of got, we are blessed, not kind of. We blessed, so we pay about uh, $750 a month. Mm. That's another story, but it's, it's we blessed, we pay about $750 a month. 
Mm. Yeah. This 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 set this whole situation that I'm finna ex- explain is 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 just for you and everyone who has a similar tax situation. Like it's beautiful. Seven fifty a month. Let me do this math real quick. Seven fifty a month is nine thousand a year. Keep in mind, guys, everything is on a twelve month basis. Okay. So your daycare expenses, they're going to send you a form that you're going to be able to utilize. From that $9,000, you will be getting a nice little chunk of that back because your daughter is in your content. So this is what I do. I just had a, a beautiful daughter too, right? Mm-hmm. Best believe she's on my Instagram. Best believe she's going to be in the content that I create. So not only do you have your daycare um, right off when they send you that form from the daycare expenses that you pay month to month, but now, what is your daughter's name again? Malia. Malia. If you buy Malia clothes, anything that she wears, don't let you mess around and give her a bottle of formula as you're talking. Now that formula's a write-off. Y'all caught that? Now, uh, hold on. Now, hold on, brother. Break this down because I need to know how is this legal and ethical, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I, But I don't want people to feel like, they got a W-2 job. They're not content creators. Now they think because they post their daughter on Instagram, they can write off their daughter. When I know that ain't the case. But in his situation as a content creator like right. myself, how right. how is it that we can legally and ethically do yeah. this? Yeah, and this is what it is because the beauty of his situation is he's a W-2 employee with a side hustle of a content creator. Okay. So not only is his actual lifestyle in regards to the clothes that he wears for his videos. If he has his daughter and that's part of his uplifting content that he creates the same thing, just like how his clothes and the videos are right off. So are hers. If this is a consistent thing, there are things where there's baby influencers out there. And if he's an influencer and he starts to get brand deal approached by X, Y, and Z toys, or, um, you know, I don't even know the baby brand clothes names, but y'all know more than, you know, I do, right? When you get approached by these brands, which I assume is going to happen if you have your daughter on a lot of your content, that is how it falls into this category. So to your point of the legal and ethical way, this is all within that frame because okay. you're now having that person a part of your content, a part of your brand, a part of your business as a content creator. I love it because it goes back to, I didn't know I can write off uh, some things with Raven because she's inside of some of my content. Now, I can't write Raven off what I spent for, uh, but there are certain things that I can write off uh, because she is in some of the content. And I love that. And so, Maurice, one thing I want to tell you is right now, uh, you, what you do need to do is you need to sit down with an attorney. And you need to go ahead and get your LLC up and running. Right? You do need to do that. Why? Because you, you are officially you know, a small business. So this is no longer just a hobby. If you're making $20,000, my boy Jay, who who looked you up immediately, because this is what he do, he's right around your age. You know, you got 78 million views with 3.6 million followers, right? Like, I I think, I don't call myself a content creator. I'm a thought leader with a business, helping people get out of debt, manage wealth, and really experience the freedom that they have. That is a business, right? And so you need to operate as a business. And so my first thing to you is I will go in this year by the end of February, get you completely up and running as an LLC and start looking at how can you start operating as a business? Because in the content creation space, he's right. There are certain things that I can legally and ethically write off. I can write off some of my clothes. Um, I can write off some things with my car. So it's like you, now you'll be able to activate your car write-offs because of your content creation space. Um, I just learned you can write off some things when it comes to your son and your daughter. I knew you could do that when it comes to like paying them, uh, but I, I knew that has to have like a certain KRA attached to it and make sure that they're legal and ethically doing that. So there's a lot of things you could definitely do there, man. But I think the very first thing I would tell you is to go ahead and get your business up and running as um, a legit LLC so that way you're protected legally there. And then also start having the companies pay your business not you because yeah. this way it's like now you're, you're gonna get extra tax benefits on that because now it's being paid to your business and then that business is going to simply it's going to come back to you 
Um, I think the correct verb is it's a pass through entity. Once you get the LLC, it's what it business makes right off and, the, and everything else passes through to you. And so I think that's the very first step that I would do for you, bro. But I, I just want to commend you on one, being this young, being this wise, uh, referencing, you know, I, I feel the passion in, in, in your and your energy, man, for the love of Christ, for the love of your wife and for the love of your beautiful daughter. And you just want to do it right and do it right. Where are you parking your savings account right now, um, Maurice? What, what are you doing with that? So, like I said, we're uh, we're working the Dave, the Dave Ramsey steps that we're on okay. a debt snowball right now. My wife has some student loans. Whenever I married her, I said, that's mine, too. That's not just going to be hers on our own. So the majority of the money I make from, you know, that extra side money, it goes straight to that. Um, so right now we just have our, our emergency fund and we park it just with our local bank here. Um, and how much is it? Is it a thousand dollars? We we have fifteen hundred. We put a little we put five hundred because we have the baby too. We emergency may come up with it, so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think with a baby, man, I mean, I think on average, how much do y'all make a month? What about five about ten thousand dollars gross? So yeah. about a little bit over that, about twelve. If you got one forty combined incomes, you're probably about eleven to twelve thousand. If I'm you, man, I would go ahead and just put it up to five thousand uh, because you do have a baby, you know, and you do have mm -hmm. expenses. And if life was to hit you, I want you to have a little bit more cushion. But once you get to five thousand, man, yeah, work, work those, work those, uh, those the, the, that snowball method, baby step number two, where the baby steps, so that way you have a little bit of cushion, especially with a newborn, because newborns, but up until like the first three years, and y'all two could tell me I don't have any newborn, but they could be expensive if something happens. Happens. But you're in the medical field, so you you got some you got some connects in that area. So so, yeah. so the fifteen hundred dollars may work. Uh, but yeah, man, I I I would say if you have fifteen hundred, have you had to tap into that within the last six months? No, we haven't had to tap into it. Okay, cool, great. Put that into a high yield, man. So at least so at least you can get twenty five bucks from it every month. Honestly, go ahead and put it into the SoFi account so that way you can at least get something in it. And you'll be able to touch it. You know what I'm saying? SoFi will send you a debit card to where you can get that money instantly. If you need it within five minutes, you can get it within five minutes. Uh, uh -huh. So I would definitely do that, bro. Uh, but, man, uh, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, you got a new subscriber and follower on uh, TikTok and Instagram for myself. Uh, keep winning. I mean, I might have to bring you on to the show and talk about how you've been able to experience this success. Because, you know, we teach people on the side on how to do what you're doing. Um, inside of our Impact Creator Society. And Justin actually comes on because he's a huge creator as well, um, promoting with taxes in his food business, um, chef business. And so, man, you just encouraged me to keep going because 25 years old and you're making an extra $20,000 on the side um, uh, as, a, as a creator with your mission and vision that God has given you. I think this year, if you work it right, bro, you could probably make an extra 50 grand, honestly, if we you trying. do it right. We trying. Hey, man, Yo. you're going to do it. Yeah, we're we going to do it. God, God willing, we're going to do it. I'm trying to get into schools and speak and stuff, so we're we going to do it. For we sure, man. some glimpses and some stuff, and then tapping into your content, I'm like, I, this this, this got to be God. Got to be God. Was, you know, I needed some more motivation. And hearing you talk about, you know, the debt snowball, talking about, you know, stewarding over finance, I'm like, I, I got to watch them while I'm young. A lot, of, a lot of cats my age, they ain't doing this. I'm like, God has me set apart. So if I want to reach them, I got to be like, I got to have results. And the way that I get the results is working it. And like you always say, you know, I'm praying like it all depends on God, but I'm working like it all depends on me. So hey, man. That's, that's where we at. You are part of E3 found, man. I appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. You have a good one. Thank you for answering <laughs> yeah. the question. Yeah, no problem at all, man. You know, Justin, man, I just love seeing young young men like that, bro, winning. Man, I mean, when he's I, I perked up when he said, I just want to speak or get paid to speak and like share the story. I want you to tap in, Maurice, when you, or if you're still listening, tap in with me. The University of Kentucky just paid me to come speak. So the same aspirations you have, I can start tapping into the networks and kind of, man, this is great. This is great, Anthony. No, this, it, is it's, this is great. And this is the thing, too. I don't know if we have that up, um, if, if we have ICSJ. Let's put that up. If you have a message, if you have a story, if you have a journey, we are teaching people how to get their first thousand followers, how to make extra money, how to make extra money like Maurice, uh, like myself, like I do it full time. Um, um, Justin does it 
part time with his other full time stuff. Maurice is making an extra twenty thousand dollars on the side. And if you want to be like Maurice, and if you want to learn how to do that, you can go to ImpactCreditSociety.com. It's like six to seven dollars a month where you can go there, and we literally are teaching you every single day. We have a full course on there. My team gets with you every single week, and we're teaching you how to get into the content creation space. They say by the end of uh, 2025, that this would be a $20 billion industry. I wanna put this in perspective. Uh, last year in 2020, not last year, so in 2022, the NFL, out of everything, ads, dollars, teams, et cetera, made $12 billion. So they're saying th content creators like Myself, Justin, Maurice, who we just saw, will be making $25 billion. I don't know about y'all. I don't need a billion of it. I don't even need $100 million. Can I just get $10 million of it? That's it. I just need $10 million of that, 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 that billions, and I'm going to be all right. You know, and so that's what um, I would highly recommend. So if you want to be a part of that, hey, go to ImpactCreatorsSociety.com. Uh, you can sign up. You'll be able to be with myself, Michelle, who's on our team. Um, uh, who else we got over there? Alex, CJ. And we teach you everything of how to do this all by yourself, how to create the graphics. I come in here and I teach you how to really dial in on the content. Because, y'all, I'll be honest with you, man, when I stepped out on my own, I think I had 130-something thousand subscribers on YouTube, 100-and-something on Instagram. And within less than three years, we're almost at 700,000 uh, E3 community members on YouTube, close to 100,000 downloads per episode on podcasts, and, over, and close to 400 on uh, Instagram. And I started TikTok, but I had never touched TikTok, and I'm already at 200,000 subscribers. Uh, and so we have a total of about... 2 million people throughout all of my platforms, including Facebook. I forgot, 300 some thousand on Facebook, 130 some thousand emails. Like, we know what we're doing over here. And so we wanna help people generate some extra income because if I can help you generate some extra income using the gifts and the tools and the talents that God has given you, that can help you make more money, right? To pay off your debt, build wealth, and start experiencing the freedom that God has. So check it out, impactcreatorsociety.com. Who do we got next, uh, Jay? Who, who, who we got next? Janet. Janet. We got Miss Janet uh, coming up next. Look at her. She looks like she's at work. I don't know what she's doing, a school teacher or doing something at the office, but I love seeing our sisters working. What's going on, Miss Janet? How can we help you? I am. I am a school nurse. Uh, a in school my nurse? Um, Wait. School nurse. So that yes. means you work in a school, but you're the nurse that to when yes. I didn't when I wanted to skip class, I acted like I was sick and I come see you. <laughs> yes, I have a, I have a lot of those students. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I'm like the callers before this is indeed a, a a a prayer that I pray to just to speak with you is just an 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 honor, and I thank you for this opportunity. Yes, ma'am. Uh, also, I wanted to um, take this time to um, to give a shout out to Neat Taxes. I, I, when you put it out last Friday for the consult, I, I immediately got in mm. and, and put my request in. And I talked to Victoria yesterday mm. and we are getting things rolling, getting things started. And I told her how ignorant I was to a lot of the tax uh, lingo mm. uh, and my understanding of the tax uh, taxes, period. Um, I'm not going to call out my past tax preparer, but uh, it's, it, I mean, they was just like one, two, three, boom, you're out the door. You were, if you ask questions, you didn't get a clear explanation. But anyway, not I just mean to say all that. Also, I, I uh, <laughs> wanted to ask a question about um, how you the savings account. Yes, ma'am. Are those taxed as income if you get to a certain amount? Justin? Are the high yield savings tax taxable income yeah so the interest that that they make right right so yeah, like, interest, right 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 yeah so that you'll receive a form uh and this goes on mortgage as well you'll receive the interest uh on the uh payments that you pay and once you receive that form that's what you'll turn over to your tax professionals gotcha does gotcha. that answer your question for you yeah it does indeed yes yes yeah yes and, yes, and, that answers my question. And also, I had a question. Of, uh, Victoria was telling me about a lot of, um, um, I guess I'm saying this right, deductions or write offs that I, I could claim that I did not know. Um, I've been a school nurse now for 16 years. Wow. And I, um, all that time, now this, this might make you faint, 
But all that time, I've never had taxes withheld. Never. Until last year. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Miss Janet. Hold on. Pause. I, I know you're not going to believe it, but it's, it's the truth. In 16 years, you've claimed like close to 50 to 100 on your taxes to, to receive no federal taxes taken yes. out of your check? Yes. May I ask why? Like, why, did you do that because you wanted to receive the, the most money you possibly could? That that was one reason why. And 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 granted, the, the previous nurses that you talked to probably live in a very urban area, probably a highly populated area. Yes, ma'am. I live in an area of Alabama that's pretty rural. And, okay. And, and it, it's, it's very, it's 80% poverty, probably more than that, um, of students that we have here. So I say that to say that we're, I don't make a lot of money. Mm. But, um, you know, but the cost of living here is not that high either. And this yes, is my hometown where I'm from. Um, and I know God placed me here because every time I want to leave, God send a child or a, a parent or someone comes and give me confirmation that this is where I'm supposed to be. So for me, it's not about the money because mm. I did dialysis. I, I worked in dialysis field for about 10 years, loved it made twice the income I'm making here, but it's not about the money for me. But anyway, about the taxes, I did do that, but, I, but um, and I got another question for you, Anthony. I Talk am uh, on this journey, this financial journey to be debt free. And I paid off all my, my credit cards except one. Um, my husband is not on board and that's been the biggest struggle for me because he started charging, charging, charging. And I'm, you know, it's, it's sort of like a, a sinking ship. You got a hole in, you throwing the water out, but it keeps filling back up. Mm -hmm. And it's driving me crazy, you know. So when you say, uh, um, when you say that your husband's not on board, what is he not on board with? Getting rid of that last credit card? He's not on board with, with um, budgeting. He's not on board with paying off credit card, um, none of it, none okay. of it. And, okay. and I, I started out with Dave Ramsey and, and, and I've seen broadcasts where he has said that if you can't get your husband on board, then just don't do it. I cannot yeah. do that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I cannot do that. You can't do what? Not do it? Right. I, I want to be debt free. Yeah. I don't know. I do think, you, I mean, do that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. And and, and okay. let me tell you what, what Dave, my, my friend, is saying. What Dave is saying, it's not worth the headache and the drama between the husband and wife. Because right. husband and wife, and Justin's married, he can speak to it. The, the science is you two should be on the same page. You two should be okay. running together. If you're right. trying to pay off the debt and then he's racking up the credit card, then that's causing friction. It's, it's right. causing headaches and arguments. Right. And then right. now what's going to happen? Y'all are arguing, y'all are fussing, y'all are fighting. And so honestly, you know, and, and again, I, I don't want to give marriage advice. I can maybe let Justin speak to that a little bit who's married. My thing is at dinner time, I would ask your husband, can we just sit down and have a serious conversation and just tell him like, hey, we are not in a healthy position financially. Or maybe ask him. Do you think we're in a great position financially? And ask them, like, hey, what's your vision for you and I, for our family in 20 years when we can't work? When we have all this debt, what's your vision so we don't have to get up and I don't have to go to Walmart and be ringing up nappy head parents and, and kids and, and frustrating people because they like I, I don't want to have to get in my car and drive right. Uber and deliver for right. DoorDash at 70 years old, 80 years old. So what is right. your vision? And I think if you can ask that question while painting the picture, hopefully your husband can feel a little bit of conviction of, yeah, I don't want my wife at 80 years old having to do something that she shouldn't have to do if I just got us together today. And so I think what Dave is, is pushing for, not what I think, I know, because I was with him for seven years. He wants you two to be on the same page, but he right, doesn't right. want you to be on different pages at right. the cost of your marriage ending. That That's not worth it. It is not worth it, right? right. Marriage is important. You love him. He loves you. Y'all right. wouldn't be together as long as y'all have been together, right? Yeah. And so I think for, for me, it's I don't want you to force something down your husband. But what I do want you to do is figure out as a wife, 
what is the best way to have this conversation with my husband and make him feel like, and let's be real, make him feel like he's in, he, he's leading. So if you lead with asking questions, Bay, I am a little concerned about our future. What do you think we're in a healthy place financially? And if he says yes, good, ask him another question. Help me understand why you think that, because I want to be on the same page as you. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, don't, don't be like, boy, you crazy. We ain't that. Like, don't be like my mama. Cause my mama would tell my daddy, Negro, we are not good. <laughs> that's, you what are crazy. That, that's, that's what I did last night. No, don't do um, that. Don't. So, and and do, it kind of shut down. And, and money conversations is something we don't have, to be honest with you. We do we, not we, have we, that. We, we, we do don't. not have money conversations. We he don't. He do his, he do his thing. I do my thing. And that's we, not good. I know it's not good. I have my own banking account. I, I bank with a totally different bank than he bank. It's it's not a good situation. I'm trying to get it together, um, but it's, Ms. it's Jan, hard. Let me tell y'all, but Miss Janet, let me be real with you because I'm looking at the chat. Um, okay. This is this is common, mm -hmm. right? This is this is common within marriages. Right. This is common with honestly, I can't even say it's within, common within older marriages. I have friends who. She has her own bank account. She go to work. She come back. She put her 50% inside of this account. I put my 50% inside this account. We pay our bills out of that account. But she got her money. I got my money. And I just think for me and leading with love, right? How do we how do we have the love conversation? How do we have a uncomfortable? That's it, God. How do we have a uncomfortable conversation with love? And I think that's, that's what that's we got to figure out. That's yeah. hard. That's, it's that's very hard. hard. It's yes, very hard. It's very hard. But, but I, you know, it, it's all about the attitude and the approach. So yeah. I will try a different approach and 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 try to come from that place of love. Yeah, because I would I, do, and I would. God is love, so you know, and we are love, so I got to come from that place. Yeah, and if you love. had the conversation with him last night, let it sit for a couple of weeks. Honestly, okay. just don't rush it. As a matter of fact, Valentine's is coming up. He's gonna give you some roses. He's gonna give you some flowers. He's gonna make you feel good. I mean, it, Valentine's is, is for the woman more than it is for the man. Now, let's be real. Yeah. And so, if, if when he give you some roses on Valentine's night, ask him, can we have a conversation at dinner? Like, hey, babe, okay. I, can I ask you a couple of questions? And do it with love. And everything that he says, pose it in a question back to him. Don't okay. attack his answer. Don't attack what he's saying. Yeah, babe, I think we're in a great spot financially. What do you mean? I mean, we don't have that much debt. Well, how? Like, help me understand what do you mean? Because I, I, babe, I love you a lot, and I want to be on the same page as you. So help me understand what you're seeing that maybe I'm not seeing. Okay. Then when he bring out, well, we we only owe fifty thousand dollars of credit cards. Okay, so you're saying that's that's good. So help right. me understand this too. When when can I retire? When can you right. retire? Right, right. So, so when you start asking those questions, common right. sense is going to be like, no, that's a good question. Right. And then okay. we, we can we can go from there. But we're praying for you, Miss Shadden. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, bless Victoria, you, bless you. Victoria's going to take good care of you. Neat Task is going to take good care of you. Uh, already, and, already I'm well, well, well pleased. Uh, love it. It's awesome. It's awesome. I, I love awesome. it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Thank you. No problem at all. Bye-bye. You guys, that's what I love. And I want to say this too. When you register for neat taxes, this is what I love about it. We don't, it doesn't end with your preparer. We have a senior preparer that, that looks over it, um, that makes sure that everything is good. This senior preparer has been in there for at least, you know, 15 plus years, right? We're making sure that, hey, your, your, your season, your mm -hmm. license preparer, it does it. I mean, they're seasoned. They know what they're doing, like a Victoria who's on our show. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we're making sure that we have two eyes. Look at your taxes before we present it. And that's, that's why I, I love that. That's, that's because we want it neat, right? And, and I want to, before we go um, over to um, our next guy, uh, I, I want to, Laren, I think his name is Laren. We're coming to you next, Laren. Um, uh, two things. If you want to give us a call, we got 30 more minutes. Go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash call AO. Some of y'all are calling in and you're trying to put your screen up, uh, do a screen share. Y'all, that, that ain't going to happen. I'm sorry, y'all. See, look, look at y'all. Y'all already trying to, you know, get funny uh, with this right here. No, no, ma'am. No, sir. You ain't playing me. We see that. You know what I'm saying? Decline. OK, we don't play that over here. If you want to call in, if you want to ask a question, cool, great, call in. But if you want to play games, go somewhere else. 
I'm not going to do that over here. I'm sorry. Then number two, um, I think I may have this conversation next Wednesday. I think we may talk about relationships and money next Wednesday. Because I'm hearing a lot of people say we, 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 we have different accounts. I'm hearing a lot of people say we're having this 50 50 conversation. I honestly may bring in some people, just some average people, and just have a real honest conversation about relationship and in finances. Um, and we have an ebook that we'll bring up next week that helps you have this, this conversation around money. But before we bring up uh, my brother, don't forget you guys to come check us out at Neat Taxes. You can go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash uh, Neat Taxes. Um, our people are on standby. They're ready for you right now. I'm super excited about it. It's doing great. You just heard uh, what Miss Janet just said. She's learning a lot. We're going to help her out. We're going to get her right. Um, and I promise you it's, it's going to be taken care of, right? So just make sure that when you do go, when you are uploading all your forms, upload every single thing. I want you to upload your W-2s, your 1099s, every single thing. So that way uh, we can go ahead and get everything processed for you and get it going. But we got 30 more minutes. If you want to give us a call, go to anthonyoneal.com uh, uh, forward slash call AO. And we got my brother Leron uh, on the line. What's going on, my guy? Hey, what's going on, man? It's Leron. Leron, Leron, not Leron, but Leron. Yeah. Okay. What's going yeah, on, I mean, bro? I mean, if, 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 it's going to be called Fred because Le Leron. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's good to talk to you, man. I watch you every day. I watch Dave Ramsey every day. Um, I, I, I donate to the channel. It's Terry Jersey Photography. Oh, man. Appreciate uh, you, bro. I appreciate you for donating to the single people. Yeah. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a photographer and also work at a full time in the factory. Um, my question is, I know, I've been contributing to my, uh, my 2023 IRA, uh, my Roth IRA. And I know that a lot of times the form for taxes does not come out to the, to the year after. Mm. Like, like, like my 2022 stuff, I have that for 2023, I have those, but no, 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 for 2022, I have those, but for 2023, I know you can contribute until April, but I know a lot of times when I looked at them, a lot of them, they don't come out until the next year. So my thing is, I, was, I didn't know if I should keep contributing to my IRA due to the fact that it doesn't come out until the year after or after the tax deadline. Yeah. So when it comes to contributing, never stop contributing. Now, when it comes to the taxes, I'll let Justin talk to that. Uh, but yeah, man, I never stop putting money into it. Max that thing out as much as you possibly can throughout the year. Um, there's, there is only a certain amount of money you can put into your IRA uh, throughout the, throughout the year. So max it out as much as possible, but nothing's going to really change because once you hit that limit, that's, it's just going to be there. But from the taxes side of things, uh, Justin, what would you like to add to that? Yeah, no, that's a great point that he brought up. And uh, one thing that does happen a lot happens to me too. Uh, one thing that you want to do is that you want to go into actual platform. Don't wait on the letter. Sometimes that even goes to, if you can't just receive a form in general, go to your actual platform where that business is and pull the form. Uh, usually there's a tax records tab or a documents tab. You can then pull that current tax year so that you can file it. Because to Anthony's point, uh, discussing earlier, like companies are legally supposed to send this information out via mail, but if they don't, it still needs to be readily available for you to complete your taxes. So just log into that particular platform and pull it. And if not, if you got to hop on the phone and call them like, hey, I need this information for tax purposes to help my tax situation, uh, that'll put a little bit of fire under them. Yeah. How much are you okay. contributing to? Your, are, are you maxing it out? Um, I'm not maxing them out because I don't make that much to be the maximum. I'm putting as much as I can every paycheck in there. Okay. Um, so and then my, my son is trying to stay motivated with, getting more business on the photography side where I do a lot of YouTube videos and stuff like that. So okay. try to get out, try to get out there more. I mean, um, I want to do your program, your ICS program, but like right now funds are a little tight for me to be able to afford that. Pain, yeah, pay, afford that right there. Totally understand. But I mean, that, that, that's, that's a key thing. 
But yeah, I, I would definitely keep keep contributing to it every single month, what you can. Um, but definitely until you get it all maxed out. I think in the year 2024, this year, we could do up to about 7,000. Um, last year, I think it was 6,500 if you're under 50. Uh, of course, if you're over 50, that can go up a little bit here and there. But um, if you're under 50, which I'm pretty sure you're under 50, man. Last year, it was 6,500. This year, it'd be about 7,000. But you say you're not getting close to that. So that's fine. So keep contributing to that as much as you possibly can. Now, are you doing your photography business full time or do you have a full time job and you do the photography business? I got. I have a full time job as a Ford truck operator, which it's just not I don't like it, but it's just there to pay the bills and insurance. Yeah. But yeah. I do enjoy photography and doing all that stuff. And that's what that's why I'm hoping that it, this year I can I'm praying that this year it'll be a lot a lot more business because okay. I, I like to do it full time. And, okay. Um, yeah. That, that's the goal. I mean, that's the goal. Um, I do have, Go I do have another question, another tax question. I know the standard deduction for I me mean, file your W two. Now, if you does that include like your giving as far as your giving or any kind of um, other deductions as far as like business or anything like that? Does that include that within that, or is that added on top of that standard deduction? Yeah, so it's included within. So your medical expenses, um, and so medical expenses and your donations, stuff like that, is added on top of your standard deduction to separate the Sweet. two. Okay, um, okay. Like we cool. Go, cool. Yeah, during the consultation that you have, but high level okay. listening, there's a difference between a standard deduction and your donation, medical expenses, so forth and so on. That's okay. good. Cool. So you I give thought, as well. Yeah. When you say giving, you talking about like yeah. tithing and offering and stuff like that? Yes. Yes. Cool. Yes. Ten percent. Yeah, yeah. So that's on top of your standard deduction. Okay, that's why I was curious about. That's why I was curious about. What are you about to say, Justin? Yeah. So the the terminology standard deduction, itemized deduction. There you go. So, so if you if you want to take the standard deduction, you take that standard deduction based off of your filing status, and that's what goes towards your tax return. If you want to try to break it okay. down and say, hey, I think I have to your point, you're a photographer, you have write-offs, right? So you're gonna go through itemized deductions of your donations, medical expenses, your photography expenses for your business. And more than likely, your itemized deductions are gonna outweigh your standard mm. deduction. Better for your tax situation to go with that. Love it, love it. So right. what I hear you saying, which is good for you to break it down, it's you either gonna use standard and that's it. Right. Or, you're going to go to the itemized and you're going to break everything down as much as possible. And your itemized deductions could be standard deductions. And that's the that's the beauty of the consultation. You don't yes. know that if you don't go through the consultation and get your best advice. Love it. Love it. Love it. Cool. That's, that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. I appreciate that. I appreciate I, that. Thank you. Pre appreciate you, brother. This is why they the tax professionals. I know this stuff, but I don't know it to be fouling. If I foul y'all's taxes, I'll be screwed. <laughs> this is crazy because I only itemize, you know what I'm saying, especially what I do. Uh, we don't, We have to itemize, you know. Uh, but, I mean, this is why we have neat taxes, and this is why we have professionals doing it. And so I'm super excited about partnering with them. Again, if you want to check us out, go to neattaxes.com, not neattaxes.com, Anthony O'Neill. Uh, dot com forward slash neat taxes and uh, if we have time for maybe about like two more two more questions and so if you want to give us a call we have one on standby and then we can take maybe about two more from there anthony o'neill dot com forward slash call ao if you have any questions about taxes about your money next week is going to be fun we're going to talk about this this relationship stuff because i'm looking in the chat and i'm like this 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 is just this is just crazy for me i don't I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm just confused. Like, are we really, are we really, really saying that relationships should not be on the same page? I just, to me, this is crazy. But we're going to talk about it next Wednesday live. Uh, well, I'm going to bring some of y'all up and we're going to talk about it. But we got William. William is on the line with this man, and I'm excited about it. William, what's going on, brother? And how can we help you, man? You're on mute, bro. You're still on mute, bro. Uh-oh. We lost him. We lost William. William, if you're watching, man, give us a call back whenever you can get your mute on, man. Um, and I think we are, uh, if you don't call back in, we'll probably, that's him trying to call back in right now. 
Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if he got. Uh, let's see if he got a offer. Come on through, William. Come on, man. I know, man. He's back on the screen. William, talk to me. See if I can hear you real quick. Oh man, we can't hear you, William. Check, check, check your mic settings, um, and just talk whenever you can. Keep talking. Just leave him up there. We have to X him off, but keep trying, William. And then if, once we hear you, we'll we'll bring you in, man. This sucks that we can't hear you, brother. I ain't gonna do my people like that. We'll get we'll give William some time, uh, but we'll bring someone else up in the meantime. While we got William trying to do it, he talking to his people. Um, so we got some people calling in. If you want to give us a call, call anthonyoneal.com forward slash call AO, anthonyoneal.com forward slash call AO. And we'll bring you up. You make sure you just have your mic on because some of y'all calling in without your mic, not your mics, but without your uh, cameras on. And so we can't do that. <laughs> uh, but, yo, we're, we're going to be getting off here promptly at 2 o'clock because I have a lot to do today. And I want to make sure that we can get um, as many people as we possibly can uh, coming on in. And so I'm super excited about it. So we have Arveta. Am I saying that correct, sis? Yes. Arveta. I said it right. Look at God. What's going on, sis? How can we help you? Hi there. Um, so I was calling um, because I've been trying to get out of debt. Okay. Um, and I'm after listening to this show, we're definitely, my husband and I are going to be reaching out to meet taxes because it's just been so inspiring. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. However, we purchased a vehicle in 2021. Um, and now we are, like, we owe more than what the car's worth. So we kind of want to know, like, what's the best bet because we wanted to try to sell it or um to get something different but we owe fifteen thousand more than what the cars were good gracious uh what kind yeah. of car is it it's a 2018 acura mdx 2018 acura M mdx okay Okay, so if you have an Acura, I'm an Acura fan. I mean, that was my first, that was my first little luxury car, and that's a Acura. That's that's a Honda, so that means you have a lot yeah. of miles on this Acura for it to be over that that much over. So that means you're over the actual mileage of it, right? Maybe it's a hundred and ten thousand. And it's a 2018. Mm -hmm. You're you're way over the miles, so that's why. How okay. much do you how much do you owe on the car? Thirty. How much did you buy? How much did you buy the car for? Forty. And you bought the car when? Twenty December of twenty twenty one. How many miles did the car have? I'm sorry, I'm I'm just getting all the right. No. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe like um, maybe like fifty eight. Yeah purchase price yeah and i'm trying to ask it the right way without it coming off wrong no it's okay like ask <laughs> it's okay because <laughs> is this a did you get this from a main dealership or did, was this one of those yeah. side dealerships okay so this no, was like a, we got it from the acura dealership yeah so they so you didn't negotiate was, right on the car okay or unless okay did you add on a car on top of this no you didn't trade nothing. So on? this is no, actually the crazy part is so listening to Dave Ramsey and everything, trying to get out of debt. We had a vehicle. Um, we had a twenty nineteen Chevy Traverse. Okay. And so the goal was to trade to sell that to get something cheaper. Okay. Um, however, we just kind of messed that up. I guess because around that time the COVID thing or whatever, didn't realize that the used cars were had went up. Especially in twenty twenty because of the because of COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it just so. kind of messed us over. So now we're stuck with this. Right. You right. You know, fairly yeah. high car payment that we're trying to get down to help us tackle the rest of our debt. Forty thousand dollars. You're looking at about a six hundred dollar car payment. Set six seven hundred dollars. It's six twenty. Yeah. See, yeah, I know my math. I know, I, I know that. <laughs> um, so, all right. So here's 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 the philosophy on this, right? Um, is okay. this your only is this your only debt, or do you have other debt outside of this? Yeah. So the other debt that we have is about forty thousand in credit cards. Now I'm gonna leave with love, my sister. I'm gonna leave with love. 
But you can't be listening to Dave Ramsey and me, and you got eighty thousand dollars in debt. You, you, you can't be. Yeah. I mean, we're we're working it. Like, I mean, it was higher than that. Like, I've really been into it maybe since I don't know, maybe for about a couple of years now. Okay. But like, we've been working it down. Um, I will say, in the transition, um, my husband did lose his job for a little bit, so we were kind of like. Out, you know, just making it with one income. Um, so we're trying to get it down as fast as we can. But that's why I was like, man, if we can get rid of this car payment, then that will help. It would help. It, it okay. definitely, definitely will help. Um, how much do you own the car right now? So you, you have 15. What's the balance on the car? Like it's 30, 30,000. It, it's okay. So you owe 30,000, but it's only worth $15,000. Mm -hmm. So if you sold the car, the max you could probably get is 15, maybe 14. I mean, I'm thinking at Acro with that many miles, 13 or 14, I'm going to say in between 12 and 14,000. Um, if you sell it outright, you may can stretch it to 14, maybe $15,000. Uh, mm -hmm. But then you're still going to be in a negative of $15,000, right? So you're going to have to pay the bank $15,000 out of your pocket if you can sell the car for $15,000. So that's a simple yes or mm -hmm. no question. Do y'all have $15,000 to put towards his car uh, to pay off the car? No. Cool, great. So then here, here, here is the thing that is going to suck, right? Um, and mm -hmm. or you, you, this, is, this is the only time I say debt. You have two options. You can work the debt snowball and just keep that car and just pay off the car. Or you can sell the car take out another loan to pay off the difference of what you had to pay. So now your car note may go from 600 down to $200 on it because you're only taking out $15,000. So that eliminates $15,000 in debt. But then here's my downfall with that is you're making a payment on a car that you do not have. Right. And an Acura, T and an Acura is a great car. So you can get that car up to 250,000 miles, no issue, still running smoothly, and, and you're good. So what's mm -hmm. y'all's combined income a month? I mean, not, not a month, a year. What's your combined income a year? Maybe now he just started working um, again. So I'll say about uh, maybe about 80. Okay. So um, and that's also because he has like side hustles. So that's side a hustles. good thing that I, yeah, he's a musician and stuff. So he gets paid from that. All right. So here, here's the play. Uh, I'm going to tell you the play. I mean, you, you have that option. If I'm in your shoes, I'm just working a debt snowball. I'm going to be, okay. I'm going to get very aggressive with a debt snowball. It sucks that we are in a car uh, that is $15,000 upside down. And when we look at the real, real, real answers, we can go trade the car in, but then we're passing over $15,000 in negative equity. That's going to make the situation even worse. We can go sell the car and then we can take out money uh, that will replace the difference. So we will, instead of owing 30000 on the car, our DTI, our debt will go down to $15,000, which is not a bad idea, but are you mentally okay with paying back $15,000 on a car that you're no longer driving? That's number two. Or number three, you can say, hey, bae, we keeping this car until the wheels fall off, until the AC unit can't even be mm -hmm. fixed no more, and we're just going to put this in a debt snowball, and we're going to aggressively attack the debt. Now, we're going to leave that car note there because we're going to pay off our credit card debt, and we're going to stop borrowing all this money on our credit cards, and then once we get that, we're going to put all this on top of the car note. So y'all are paying good amount on the $40,000 of the car credit cards, so if I'm y'all, I'm not even really focused on on the on trying to eliminate the debt on on the car, I'm trying to get out of this daggone credit card debt that's charging me a whole bunch of money in interest. Then I'm taking all that that we're paying on our credit card debt and putting all that on a car note to get out of that. I'm thinking when the next 16 to 24 max 30 months, you all can be out of debt. You still got a good, reliable car, but it's just like, can you all get on the plan, get on the strategy, uh, get a system together to where you all stick to that, stop charging things to the credit cards and stick with the the baby steps the seven baby steps stick to to what i'm teaching over here too and y'all just get with it and that's with love because i don't know what else to tell you when it comes to this and y'all are a young family you got kids yes two four 
four. You don't look like you got four yeah. kids. Come on there, ma'am. Yeah. Come on now. Good genes. That, look at that. <laughs> One in college. So One that's another college? thing, too. So, yes. Hmm. Okay. All right. So right now, honestly, with love, just I'm going to say this. It's very important that you, you do this now. And here's why. Mm-hmm. Because let's just be honest. All of us are getting older. And the last mm-hmm. thing we want to do is be in our 60s, 70s, still paying off debt from our 20s and 30s. Yeah. And we do not want to be a burden to our kids when we need their help to extend our life. Right. To where now we're putting physical labor on them, but then also now we're putting extra monetary uh, labor on them. And so um, thank you so much for calling in. I, I believe that you're going to be all right. Uh, but if I'm you in your shoes, unless you just want to pay it, I mean, trade it in, not trade it in, but sell it and just get the difference right. and get your debt down to 15000 that's an option. I mean, that is an option that you could have. But if it was a car that I just didn't trust lasting you long, I would say go that route. But because it's an Acura, it's a Honda product, oh, man, that, that car is going to last you. Just pay yeah. the car off and just do not finance nothing else again until you all have some money in the bank to where you can pay cash. Or you could trade that car in and then buy something else cash with that once you get it paid off. So that's what I recommend. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. No, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And, um, you know, make sure you do definitely get with need taxes. So hopefully we can get you back some more money and you can put that towards your debt. For real. You know, for real, for real, for real. Justin, man, it's been it's been great. We're done. We're, we're done, brother. I, this has been phenomenal. This has been a great day. Uh, thank you for rocking with me, man. This, this has been absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, you guys, if you all are really in need of um, getting the most back, most back in your taxes to make sure that you can really, 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 really maximize your tax return. And you can start putting money into your high yielded savings account. You can start putting money into your debt. Uh, then I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash need taxes. Our people will take good care of you. Um, I'm excited about what they're doing. I'm, I'm pleased with what they're doing and how they're doing it. And then also, you guys, don't forget, if, if you are putting your money into a bank account that's only giving you 0.01%, 0.03% on your interest for your savings account, y'all, that's not good stewardship. And so I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash SoFi. SoFi should be lowercase. And I want you to go open up the account literally right now. Put $5 in the account. And then as you're getting money, Put your money into that, and we will make sure to put that information in today's show notes. Yo, Justin, as we're coming to an end, man, you want to add anything to it? I have nothing else to add, man. I think that was a great, great uh, segment. I hope everyone who's watching definitely receives some nuggets, but just know it gets better when you have your own personal consultation with your own personal, you know, tax situation. Man, listen, we are excited, y'all. I got to go to work. It's been fun chilling with y'all for two hours. We do this every single Wednesday. If you're not a part of the family before you leave, can you join the E3 family by hitting that subscribe button? We're trying to get to 700,000 by the end of this week. Once we hit a million family members, we're giving away a car. I'm going to go buy and pay cash. I'm paying cash for a BMW and or a Mercedes or an Acura or a Lexus, any kind of mid-tier car we're gonna do a poll on uh, my youtube channel what kind of car should i buy no i ain't buying no bentley (laughs) i'm not doing it you know what i'm saying but should we drive i mean what should i buy once we hit a million family members we are giving away a car we're flying actually we're not even going to fly the person into the studio we're flying to you with the car Woo! And all we're going to do is you got to be a part of the E3 family. And we're just going to pull a name. And then we're just going to show up one day at your job, at your house, at your side business, at your event. If you're getting married, you may just show up at your at your wedding and just have a wedding gift. I don't know what we're going to do. But when we hit a million family members, I'm giving away a car. And I'm paying cash for it. And when I show up, your name is going to be on the title. You got the title, no debt, but you do got to sign an agreement that you won't, you won't, you won't sell it or trade it in uh, for the next uh, two years. Uh, but the goal is we can find someone who needs a car, 
because we want to be a blessing, right? And so um, if, you, if you're not a part of E3 family, you guys, everyone's saying Lexus, Lord Jesus. Everyone's saying Lexus in the chat, Lexus. I hear y'all, Lexus, 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 Lexus. Everyone's like, man, that's a Toyota product. I, I, ain't, mad. I ain't mad at my family. My family's like, give me a Lexus, give me an Acura, give me something that's backed by something solid. Because them BMWs look sick, but uh, they be, ooh, Jesus. Sometimes I'd have had a BMW, boy. The parts in them jokers is crazy. Uh, but listen, uh, join the E3 family. Before you leave, can you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? Uh, subscribe to the family. Be a part of the E3 family. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up so we can get a lot of thumbs up. So that way when we come off this live, YouTube will continue pushing this. And we can help as many people uh, get neat taxes done here in the year 2024. Uh, and I'm super, 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 super excited to call you family. I'm super, super, super excited to call you a part of this family because we love you. So we're going to try and hit 700,000. I cannot believe that, Justin. 700,000 family members, bro, in less than three years. Well, honestly, I'm lying. We had about 130 to 40 when I left yep. Ramsey. And so that is, what, 530,000 people in two years and like seven, six, seven months. That's crazy. Wow. That's 700,000 people. Who want to experience financial pre freedom, yeah. who want to experience wisdom, knowledge, who want to experience wellness, who want to experience abundance. Mm. And today, y'all bless my heart, y'all. Y'all bless my heart. Y'all bless my heart to hear that y'all been following me. And, and to hear that all of you all who have followed me from Dave Ramsey, because I still love them. I just actually talked to them a couple of weeks ago. I I love those people and what they're doing over there, man. They're doing amazing work. I just wanted to speak more to my black brothers and sisters. And I, I appreciate them for allowing me to do that, uh, for supporting me in doing that. And man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, you know? And so I love you all. And that's why I said, when we hit a million, I'm gonna drop some money, some good money, and we gonna buy a car. We gonna buy a car. We gonna buy, we gonna buy a car. And we gonna fly to you. And we're going to have it shining. We're going to have it spiffy. And we're going to make sure that we make a big scene that everybody in your job, everybody in your family know that you part of E3 family. And y'all, we got some big things coming up in April as well uh, with Ashley SmartWiz uh, to where we'll be doing some things big with them only for the E3 family to where I'll give y'all a sneak peek because only y'all y'all alive. Uh, smart Wiz and ourselves, y'all, we giving away about $30,000 in April. I'm going to leave it right now. 30, 30 smack. Just, just 30 grand. Mm. So, but you got to be a subscriber. You, you got to be a part of the family. And watch this, y'all. We're giving away vacations. We calling it uh -huh. vacations. Ooh. Ooh. We sending you on a vacation. Vacation. I am not the church, so I don't care if you're going with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mama, your daddy. I don't care. We are giving away vacations, not just vacations. We opening up investment accounts with a thousand dollars minimum in them. Multiple. Mo yeah, not just one, not just two, but multiple. So all I'm saying is hit that subscribe button. Join the family. Can you share this? Can you take a screenshot right now to tell people you learned a lot from today and post on Instagram and tag me? Can you hit that thumbs up button so we can do it? You know, and so we'll see you uh, tomorrow. We're dropping a show tomorrow. Make sure y'all go check out anthonyneal.com for a lot of free resources and, and read the blogs. And uh, and we'll see you soon. Yo, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. It's been great. We love you. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next show. Peace out.